Hello everyone. I had a request on Tumblr to demonstrate how I did the layers and the lighting effects in this picture. It's really easy. I didn't want to flood your dashboards with a really tall tutorial about it, so I thought I would just film myself doing it and hopefully not make a fool of myself. So to start with, the program you're looking at is Open Canvas version 1.1. It's shareware, which means it's free and legal to download. Version 1.1 1 .1 is. The other versions uh, you have to pay for. They added a bunch of features. But version 1.1 1 .1 is really lightweight and really small and really great for sketching, specifically if you have a drawing tablet, which I do. So, Spine here, in his finished form, he's 100% digital from beginning to end. I didn't draw him on paper and scan him in. I just drew him here in open canvas. So to peel, peel his layers back a bit, uh, there's his light in the background, the rendering lines, and sketch. So there's his original sketch that I start with. And I keep it on a little bit for texture because I like how it looks. I really like a rough look for whatever reason. So lighting, and we're just going to do this real quick, demonstrate since I know a lot of you don't have open canvas. Since this is a demonstration, we're going to play around a smidge. We're going to make red. We're going to make some evil spine. Uh, I created an add layer here. If you have open canvas, the add and subtract layers are great tools. I recommend mostly playing with them. You would have more fun playing with them and learning what they do than you would watching me telling you what they do. But the add layer creates a really great kind of neon glow look on things. And open canvas, one of its strengths is it smears color. Like, it grabs the color from this around your paintbrush and kind of smears it in and is really good for blending. That's why I like doing smoke and things in it. It has its drawbacks when you're doing detailed stuff or really grand canvases, but for this, it's just perfect. I'm adding some bounce light and, and highlights and things. The science to this, just think about, you just have to think about where light's going to hit. And if I'm going to be perfectly honest with myself, 80% of it is just what looks cool. <laughs> if it doesn't look cool when I'm done, then I have failed. So, if it looks cool, then, then go for it. If it breaks some laws of physics and science, then that's okay, as long as you can justify it with the cool factor. So... It's pretty easy. It looks good. It's just great. The spine's looking evil. And while fun as that was, I realized, as I said before, not a lot of you have open canvas. So I prepared a bit of a treat for you. I saved a version of this drawing in without the light effects and opened it here in Photoshop. And we're going to try and reproduce the same thing in Photoshop real quick. This is Photoshop version 5. But as long as your version of Photoshop has the uh, overlay layer effect, you should be good, because that's all I'm going to use. Now, my, my pen pressure is off, but that's cool. We don't really need pen pressure. I start off with adding our blue light. This is just an overlay layer here on top. And overlay looks really cool. I mean, it makes things look really cool. It's kind of like a stain, is how I think of it. And I use it for most everything. But it lacks that, that cool coolness that comes with the open canvas. And I compensate for that by adding a bit of white where the light usually hits. Uh, usually at the light source, but I'll put a little back here too, just for for glint and glam. But the the light adding just a little bit of an opaque barrier between the camera and the light source kind of implies a an atmosphere sort of. Like there's air that it's passing through and the air is catching the light and making it harder to see. And that helps. This is, I, I put it at like 35. Yeah, 35 to 40. And, you know, it's a, a little effect, but it looks good. And I've got one last one here. One more overlay just to add vibrant 
a vibrancy. Uh, he's using there we go. A vibrancy to it, and and really make it pop. And that's pretty much it. It looks pretty good. I mean, it's not one to one, obviously, but we didn't spend a whole lot of time on it. But it's a, a cute little simple trick to help with glow. And I don't know. I hope it was entertaining and perhaps a little educational. If you have any questions, send me a note. If you have anything else you would like me to demonstrate here in Photoshop or in Open Canvas, uh, you can send me a note too. I don't mind talking about art. Uh, it's a lot of fun.